Hi guys, Sam from DRB Audiovisual. Uh, just coming to you today with uh, what I'm going to attempt uh, is a really quick one run through on some of the issues around video conferencing, um, you know, lesson capture, you know, simple solutions, uh, one touch, bring your own device. I'm going to try and cram it all in. I'm going to try and keep it like as short as possible. So I'm going to move really fast. Um, Basically, you know, the whole uh, COVID-19 situation uh, obviously increased demand in all these areas. And um, I think the you know, one thing that's going to come out of this is that uh, there's going to be a greater realisation that these technologies have value going forward, even when we return to normal operations. Um, and uh, it's sort of great news as far as uh, we're concerned, not so much from a technology deployment point of view, but really just we've been strong advocates of um, you know, using video conferencing for uh, virtual excursions and, and certainly lecture capture. We've been implementing lecture capture in, uh, you know, primary and secondary uh, based schools for seven or eight years now uh, through the Discovery Lab products. And we've always seen them as a, as a great value add to learning. So, you know, I think there's plenty of good that's going to come from it. But, um, you know, as for, I, I did a Google here at the top of the, you know, best video conference codec or something. Uh, and I just wanted to get this sort of image where we can see, you know, you know, Zoom, WebEx, you know, BlueJeans, Microsoft Teams. I mean, there's just such a plethora of products out there. And the truth is what we're finding is most of our clients are not actually using just one. Um, you know, hopefully they have a predominant one. And for example, if we talk about schools, um, you know, certainly a lot of schools have been making heavy use of Teams because they've got that Microsoft infrastructure already and knowledge, but often just for teacher student type scenario. And then when we move into, you know, admin uh, or other areas or primary areas of the school, you know, we see other 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 soft codec solutions like Zoom and that um, coming to its own. And of course, you know, Cisco's WebEx. Um, you know, these, the, and even um, to a lesser degree, Google's Hangouts, they're, they're all in the mix. So, you know, we're finding that um, clients are trying to keep their options open, uh, but also trying to keep things simple. Um, and, you know, the truth is there is no one magic bullet solution here that suits everyone. It requires a discussion and an understanding of how your organisation operates, how it intends to operate. Um, and you know how steep our desire is to keep it simple and what the budget is. There's a lot of factors, um, but you know moving through it and uh, you know it, it sort of falls into two flavors if we talk about video conferencing for a minute. Um, at the simple end of the spectrum, we've got the the, the one touch type rooms, and they tend to include some sort of uh, computing power. And at the other end. Uh, and they're, they're often less flexible. Uh, at the other end, we've got the bring your own device room, which is where the users are bringing their computers and uh, they're plugging into infrastructure uh, in the room. So, um, you know, looking at Logitech, there's many examples of this, but certainly we work with a lot of Logitech products. The Meetup product, for example, uh, you know, good 4K camera, you know, beamforming mics, speakers built in, you know, sits on the TV. And you know, it's bring your own device style. So plug a laptop in, uh, Zoom, you know, uh, WebEx, Teams, whatever you want, go for it. Um, so this can suit, you know, certain small rooms. Um, you know, then there's products that allow even greater levels of customization and hardware selection. So this is a, um, it's like a gateway type product. So where we can hang uh, a couple of cameras off it, we can hang uh, microphones, and we can boil it all down to a USB interface. We can control it and it into a control system so you know, if we need you know, a couple of PTZ cameras or ceiling mics or beamforming microphones because we don't want them on the table but it needs to be bring your own device style you know this sort of product can be designed and integrated into a system um, you know moving along you know in Logitech's range uh, they have the rally system uh, which can serve the bring your own device area uh, very nicely uh, you know you can have multiple table mics pencil zoom cameras that auto frame faces you know, uh, integrated uh, speakers, uh, speaker systems that uh, are driven off it and designed to work together with the microphones. This can all be boiled into a, um, a bring your own device model or a one touch uh, tap it type model as well. Um, you know, one of the things I, I really love about the, the Logitech product, they've done some really detailed design. This gets quite complicated working out how to set this up, but uh, once it's done, the user experience is very simple. So the display hub and table hub, you know, allows for the different flavors of this product, dual screen, single screen, you know, one mic, five mics, 
um, you know, use it in a tap room, like a Teams room, where you just walk in and tap to join a meeting. Also cater for a, a, a bring your own device in the same room where someone carries in a laptop, it's all possible. Um, you know, it, it's not just suitable for Teams rooms, it can be for a Zoom room, it can be for a Hangouts room, we can have a single, you know, simple tap style interface. So this is an extension of uh, the Rally product in Logitech's range and, you know, through that, you know, as this sort of indicates, Small rooms, medium rooms, large rooms, uh, they can all be catered to. You know, the availability of wall mounts, angled table mounts, there's mounts for uh, the microphones. It's, it's a really pretty comprehensive, complete product. And, and for me, a little bit of a surprise, uh, you know, from Logitech, but they've been working on it for a long time. Um, you know, there's a video from Unified Communications. Oh, you know, this video just, a lot of our clients don't know that they can integrate analog whiteboards into the Teams experience, um, and uh, that you know, done right, you'll you'll end up with a situation hopefully a neater install than this, um, but where you can you know be doing analog whiteboarding, traditional whiteboarding coming through as content. The person in the picture is silhouetted out. A really great experience for your non-tech savvy people who just want to use a traditional whiteboard and easily communicate in a meeting. You know, combined with the tap controller, that tap whiteboard, they go and write on it, the content goes to the other end. It can just be made incredibly simple and that's what I love about some of these products. Um, of course, there's a lot more than Logitech and there's a lot of other products and I'm not intending to go through them all here today just to try and give you a feel for what's possible. Uh, you know, Polycom Studio X series is another great one. Uh, you know, currently you can have this as, um, BROD, or you can have it as integrated in a, in a, in, into like a, a one touch type room. Um, you can have it, you know, there's, there's a bigger and a smaller unit, essentially one caters for more microphones uh, and a few other features, in dual display, this sort of thing. Um, what I do like about this, currently it's available as a, as a Zoom room setup, and you know, we can take these bars, we can put them with a touch screen. Uh, you know, whether that's, uh, you know, any any flavour of, of touch screen that, that, that is, is using, um, you know, universal drivers. And, you know, the screen itself can become the controller uh, for these sort of smaller huddle rooms. Um, you know, these are, these are suitable for rooms maybe up to 10, depending on what the size is, but then they sort of max out because of their lack of integration. Um, you know, again, they can have a, a screen with them for the um, sort of one touch style, or we can not have this screen as it and use the touch screen. That's one of the things I like about that. Um, Yes, I'm trying to talk quick. I'm past the time I wanted to uh, use for this. Just trying to keep it condensed for you. Um, you know, then we move into you know out of the, the the conference, you know, the boardrooms, the smaller spaces, the classrooms, and we move into um, you know bigger spaces and, and the desire to capture content. Now, of course, you can capture into a lot of these things. You can record in Zoom. You can record in Teams. You can ingest into streams. Um, but if you're more looking for a hardware-based stream, your capture solution. There's everything from our Discovery Lab products, uh, where it's all integrated in one, low cost, a little bit limited, but yes, you can stream, yes, you can record, yes, you can preview, uh, bring in IP cameras, HDMI sources, all this sort of thing, uh, through to you know really liking the new Lumens stuff here. You know, uh, being able to record multiple multiple feeds, you know, uh, simultaneously for post edit, we can pre-edit with program outs. You know, we're now talking more about your halls, your uh, lecture theatres, these sort of spaces. Uh, we can integrate and live stream, um, you know, whether that's live streaming, uh, you know, via uh, you know, Wowzer or via Microsoft Stream, um, whatever it is. Um, you know, the extra on SMP351, you know, again, these are boxes that need to be set up right. You know, we've used a lot of these very successfully. Um, and we've got clients integrating these with streaming solutions in recent times, uh, Microsoft Stream and all sorts of other products. And, you know, even from Hitachi, we've got the Maxwell products, uh, which, uh, you know, we've spent quite a bit of time talking with Hitachi about these products. You know, they, they suit different requirements. We need to like look at what is it that you're trying to do. Uh, and and control, you know, really, really critical in some of these bigger spaces. If you want it all very simplified, it can be done. Like, you know, this is a manual for a, manu a user manual or a user guide from a, a project completed a while ago. Um, you know, it, it sort of shows the normal walk into the room. I think this is like more of a multi-purpose 
hall type space. Uh, you know, use it for display purposes, you know, change your M cord, adjust the volume, all the, the usual day-to-day -day stuff. But then you can see other options up here, like record options, uh, you know, audio, we've got other mics and that in there. So day-to-day -day use, adjust the mic levels, you know, it all gets set back to where they need it. Um, uh, you know, so it turns on and off, so we don't have problems with levels left in the wrong spot. But, you know, when we talk about the integration into recording and streaming, you know, if we hit the recording controls, you know, we get some of, uh, you know, these sort of options like camera position, the layout, do you want to record it, you know? Uh, or indeed, even if you um, want to go to record and stream, you know, we, we can make it so right here from a control panel, they can just press a button, they can stream, they can do whatever they want. So I think that's a wrap. Uh, I've reached over 10 minutes. Uh, I've tried to move very quick, but basically I'm trying to give you a taste for the different things, how it can be done. And if you've got a particular requirement, the best thing that we find is not so much to talk generically, but to you know pick on a particular room or particular scenario and explore that with you to help work out which one of these products works, works best for your, your ecosystem, how your organization wants to operate, uh, you know, what sort of budget you can afford to invest invest in these sorts of solutions and, you know, we'll just help balance these forces to get you to the best point. So hopefully that helps and um, feel free to reach out uh, via the website or give us a call at the OB Audio Visual and we'll help you through it.